Like, you want people to have clarity, you want people to have purpose, but you ultimately want people to have a lot of clarity on their purpose. And that's something that I've struggled with, is figuring out like what my purpose is and getting more clear on the things that I'm supposed to be doing. But by taking other people through that process, it's made my purpose become a lot more clear. I discovered that part of my purpose is helping other people discover their purpose. And part of me becoming more clear was helping other people become more clear on their purpose. The problem I think most people have with a process like you just took people through is they don't get specific enough. They're not clear on the actual things that, that need to happen, that actual goals. And with like with us, a lot of people that listen to are, are in sales and, and I own a life insurance company and we sell life insurance and I ask agents and, and I'll say, what's your goal this year? How much do you want to make this year? Uh, I want to make 500 grand. Great. How are you going to do that? Um... I'm going to sell a lot. And it's just these very broad goals, but they never got the clarity within that goal that would make it to where it was something that they could chase after every single day. And I think that's really what you're talking about. Like people don't need more motivation. They need clarity. Getting clarity on what success looks like to them is the most important thing. I agree. Like I people agree. need clarity. You know, I talk to people, um, I coach a lot of our agents and, and I'll say, well, you know, what ultimately, what do you want? Like, what do you want in life? Yeah. Well, I want to be financially free. I want to make six figures. Yeah. I want to make six. I want to be a millionaire. Yeah. Like, I'm like, what, what in the world does that mean? What does it mean to be financially free? Well, um, it means it wouldn't be a slave to debt anymore. Okay. Also cool. But what does that look like? Mm -hmm. Oh, well then, then if I didn't have any debt, then I'd then be able to do this. I'd be able to do that. Okay. We're getting there. And you go like 30 layers deep yeah. into that. And you realize that they really just want to be able to take like six weeks off a year yeah. and they want to be able to pick their kids up and they want to buy a horse because the they rode horses as a kid. Yeah. That was what brought them happiness. And like you get like, once you figure out what people actually want and they can start visualizing what that is, then you can then build a roadmap mm -hmm. to it. When you define what that number is, being able to reverse engineer that and as far as how, how in the world you're going to get to it. And I think the important thing in that is Let's just say I love using that number 876,000 because it's $100 an hour, 24 hours a day, 365. And being able to place that value on your time to where if you're doing something today that's not worth $100 an hour and that's the person you want to be, then it's figuring out, okay, how do I either delegate this to somebody else? How do I make this more efficient? That way it doesn't take as much time. Or is it something that needs to be done at all? if it's not based on what I'm valuing my time at. And I think that's something that people obviously are wasting a tremendous amount of time, but beyond just the simplicity of wasting time, there's such a huge gap in what they're saying the value of their time is worth and what they're showing the value of their time is worth. If, if you haven't gone through the process of really setting your goals for this year, if you haven't gone through the process of really using that 2020 vision, getting clear on what you want to ultimately have happen this year, then just do it now. Don't wait till next year. It's not too late. Go ahead and put those plans in place in writing and then put them to action. Mm -hmm.